We've been working on a project now for a number of weeks where we're trying to photograph scarlet macaws in flight. We found a region here where there is a favourite perching tree of the birds and a currently fruiting tree which they like to go to regularly. So we come to this location and we found a corridor where they fly between the two trees and we set up some flashes to try and catch them in all their glory. In the rainforest undergrowth it's generally very dark so even with settings of 1600 ISO and f2.8 I'm still getting marginal shutter speeds for freezing action photography. One of the ways you could counter this is either by bumping up the ISO to try and get faster shutter speeds and that has limited success but obviously has some downsides too. Another way you can counter this is by using flash to freeze the action you're trying to capture. We started this project by using one on-camera flash to help freeze the motion. This had limited success. Moving on from just one on-camera flash, we now use two off-camera flashes which are triggered by this flash trigger to illuminate the birds in a more natural way. Initially, we used the flashes to illuminate the bird without any source of ambient light, so effectively they overpowered the surrounding light sources, so they were the only light source on the bird. This gave quite striking results and led to the nice black background, but doesn't place the animal in its environment. The next challenge was balancing ambient light with flashlight. The way I went about this is I set it up as if I was using only the flashes as the light source. And then what I did is I dropped down the shutter speed from the max flash sync speed of 1 1 80th of a second down to 1 30th of a second. This allowed sufficient amount of ambient light to kind of place the animal within the environment. Using flash with action photography does bring about some problems, namely what curtain you send the flash off. Do you send it off the first curtain or second curtain? There are pluses and minuses for this, which hopefully you'll see in the blog. Uh, so for example here, I used second curtain for some of the shots. This was somewhat helpful. But for the majority of the shots, especially now with the mixture of ambient light, I'm using slow flash sync, uh, a feature on all the X-series cameras. Slow flash sync allows the ambient light to reach the sensor first and then the flash goes off at the end. The advantage of this is, especially if you're panning a subject with some light spots around, is that the flash is the last thing to go off so you don't get any ghosting. For me, it's the most pleasing way to blend ambient and flash photography when you're panning with a subject. So as you can tell from this being week three now of this project, this has taken a lot of patience and perseverance to get right. From finding a location for the birds to trying to get the right blend between ambient and flashlight. But now I think that we're finally getting there and getting the results I'm really starting to be happy with.